Hello and welcome to this video on dynamic visibility. During this tutorial, we'll learn what dynamic visibility is and how we can use it in our Squirrel projects. Now, there's any number of reasons to not show all of our data on the screen at once. It may be that the data isn't always relevant or that we have too much information to fit on the canvas. Whatever the reason, we can use dynamic visibility to show objects only when they're needed. And this can be in response to some kind of user interaction, say the clicking of a button or the selection of a category, or it can be data driven so that an object is shown when a data condition is met. Each Squirrel component has dynamic visibility properties that you configure in exactly the same way. There are two property fields, a status field and a value field, and it's when these two properties are equal that our component will be visible. If we leave these fields in their default empty states, then the component will always be visible because the value of both is equally empty. Now I'll show you a simple example of how we can make dynamic visibility happen. In the spreadsheet, I'll select an empty unused cell. And before I do anything else, I'm going to change the color of this cell to orange so that I know at a glance that this cell has been reserved for the purpose of dynamic visibility. And by the way, this is a good practice to get into. When you're building projects, highlighting cells like this means that you won't inadvertently use the cell for something else. So going back to the dynamic visibility properties, click the data binding icon that sits above the status field. Then select the orange cell and click the confirm button. The cell address now appears in the status field. Now next we need to set a comparison value and for this we have a few options. We can use a boolean value, a number, a word or even a phrase. I'm going to type in the word show. Now let's see what happens when I switch to debug mode. OK, so we can see that our text label is visible, but the chart component has been hidden. And the reason for this is that the status and the value need to be equal for the component to be visible. But as yet, we haven't added any data to the cell that we bind to the status field. So the component is hidden because nothing doesn't equal the value of show. So back in our reserved cell, I'll type in the word show. Now when I select debug mode, we can see that our component has appeared, and this is because the status and value are now equal. It's worth just mentioning at this point that the comparison is case sensitive, so make sure that the status and values are written in the same format. If I change this to a capital letter, and then select debug, we can see that the chart is no longer visible. So if your dynamic visibility isn't quite behaving as expected, be sure to check the format of the comparison values. And that's a very simple demonstration of dynamic visibility in action. There are two other tutorials that follow on from this one. Dynamic visibility with data insertion and dynamic visibility with formulas. So do have a look at those to learn more about using dynamic visibility in Squirrel.